Member for Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my question is also to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer update the House how the government is guaranteeing the essential services that Australian families rely upon, including in my electorate of Robertson? And how might a different approach to managing our economy undermine this approach? The Treasurer. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Robertson for her question. And member I can for inform the House that, as a result of the measures announced last night, there are more than 16,000 small businesses in the member for Robertson's electorate and medium-sized businesses that will benefit from the extension to the instant asset write-off to $30,000, Mr. Speaker, and to companies with a turnover of up to $50 million. <laughs> Now already Member for we have Wakefield. seen the 350,000 small businesses yeah. Treasurer, keep going. that already we have seen more than 350. Mr. Speaker, the Labor Party is not interested in small not in businesses. Services. Not interested in small business. They actually want to increase the taxes on small business. Mr. Speaker, they're not interested in small business. They're not interested in the engine room of the economy. 3.3 million people in every corner of the local community. There is a small business. From the dry cleaner to the cafe, Mr. Speaker, to the person who runs the local shop, Mr. Speaker, they're the small businesses that we, as Liberals and Nationals, spoke to last night, Mr. Speaker, and they are the small businesses that the Labor Party ignores, Mr. Speaker. And in the member for Robertson's electorate, there are 16,000 of them that will benefit directly as a result of the measures. Now, Mr. Speaker, there are nearly 60,000 taxpayers in the member for Robertson's electorate who will directly benefit from the tax cuts that we announced last night, Mr Speaker. And there are two instalments to those tax cuts. There is the uh, extension of the instant the lower middle income tax offset, Mr Speaker, which will see somebody on $60,000 a year get $1,080 in their pocket in just 13 weeks' time when they put in the next tax return. And if you're a teacher and a tradie and you're, in a, you're a couple in a family, Mr Speaker, and you're both earning $60,000 each, that's $2,160 in your pocket in 13 weeks' time due to the announcements of the Morrison government, Mr Speaker. That's money that goes to your quarterly energy bill. That's money that goes to your monthly mortgage payment. That's money that goes to your yearly car insurance, Mr Speaker. These are decisions taken by our government that will ease the cost of living for all Australians, Mr Speaker. And because we have got a strong budget position, we were able to spend more record amounts on hospitals and schools, like building a children's cancer centre for the first time in Sydney, Mr Speaker, like a brain and spinal ward in South Australia, Mr Speaker, like extending the PBS to six new drugs, like one for acute leukaemia, Mr Speaker, that would otherwise cost $130,000 for a course, but now it costs $6.50 for a concession holder and $40 for someone who's a general patient. Mr Speaker, last night's budget was for the people of Australia. Last night's budget creates a stronger economy. Last night's budget guarantees essential services.